right guys, we're gonna get a little fancy now. We're gonna do a reverse step vault, which is something I once again learned from free running and parkour. Brian Orozco uh, taught me this and I thought it was a very good skill to be able to transfer into anyone that's trying to uh, cover ground or moving through obstacles. Uh, and, and I'm really inspired by law enforcement, firefighters and military. And Ricard is here joining us today to, to help us out with this. So reverse step vault. Pretty simple looking, not too easy to do at first, but we're gonna go through some drills and hopefully it makes it a little better. Reverse step ball, I'm walking forward, hand plants, foot comes up, I step back out of it. So it's the same thing as your forward step ball, but before we hit the bar, all I'm doing is giving a little half turn, planting my foot up, stepping through, and walking away. So we're gonna work on this drill. This could be an obstacle that's straight in front of you. It's slightly off the side, so you may be going off the side, looking to see what's behind you and walking away. It can be in any direction. But what we wanna do is make sure that we step backwards, that we have support, and that we can see what's around us. We're no longer looking straight ahead. We're actually exploring our surroundings. So, first drill. All you're gonna do, you're gonna walk up. You carry your hand, your gun on the right hand, right? So you're gonna place your left hand on the bar and you're going to just turn your chest in the opposite direction of where you were walking. You're going to walk up, place your hand, palm is going to be facing where end, wherever you end up looking. So he's looking at you guys right now, palm will be facing that direction. Let's go ahead and do that same thing now, but we're going to go hand placement. Without looking, you're going to try to find your step. So you're going to put your foot down on the bar, okay? You're going to swing the leg back. Try to find, yeah, perfect. Good, come on out. Now we're gonna do the same thing, hand placement, foot comes up, press, take a seat. Cool? So all he's doing is lifting his lower leg off the ground and trying to take a seat. You gonna find support? Yeah, it's a little tricky. Oh yeah, it's all good. Good, press up, take a seat. Good job, nice. Now, next step, this is what he's gonna do. Now is when some balance and stuff, stuff comes into play. He's going to place his hand, bring his leg up, arm that's not holding anything, just the gun, is actually going to be slightly in front of you. You're going to press up and reach forward a little bit. So if you're holding the gun, you're going to push the gun out and notice where my foot is going in front of me. That is going to allow me to get all my weight on my hand and my foot and feel balanced and centered. If I'm behind me, I'm most likely going to fall back and I don't have any stability. So let's see if we can do that. Hand placement, foot, press, reach in front of you foot in front of you. See what that looks like from the side. Leg up. And yeah, it's tricky. Hand in front. There you go. What does that look like? Oh, pistol. Bottom of the squat, one leg in front, one hand in front to balance. Hip crease is below the knee almost. And we can do a bunch of stuff from there. Come on down. Now without even me telling him, he already thread the leg. So the next step, you already did it, yeah. which is hand placement, foot up. Feet in front, thread the leg, step down. Yeah. Cool. So now he has balance, same position, half turn, foot comes up, hips up, thread the leg. One of the things that we're noticing is now he's feeling really comfortable, so the elbow is behind his back. Exaggerate, always yeah. weight in front of you. And everything we do in gymnastics, in order to find balance, everything happens in front of us. Muscle ups in front of us, pull ups in front of us, push ups in front of us. We're looking for stability in front of us. Hollow body position in front of us. Okay, so same thing happens here. As I'm stepping over, hollow, my pistol, thread, go. Yeah. Okay, let's try it one more time. Sure. So he's walking, facing straight ahead, plants his hand, steps up, pushes through, and comes around. And now he can walk out of that. So this may seem like a very awkward thing to do, but it could come in handy in case you need to look around you and you're just trying to move from A to B. How yeah. does it feel? It feels good. Yeah. As I said before, it, the, the obstacle doesn't seem to be an obstacle anymore when you learn these skills. You can concentrate more around yeah, on nice. your surroundings. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So once again, the obstacle disappears and you just look at the big picture, you concentrate on your surroundings and you can kind of stay focused on your own thing. So when you're in a controlled environment, Great way of warming up. You can see that we saw a pistol there, we saw a squat, we saw a press, a support on the rings, all kinds of translation. 
hand palm was facing forward that's your ring position when you're holding that support thumbs out elbows locked out pushing away from that bar gives you good support and balance feet in front of you that's your pistol that's your balance once again everything should be transferring from one skill to another if it's not doing that we're not doing the right thing and we're not looking at the big picture and we will not be really increasing our overall performance